2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. A critical game four coming your way in the Eastern Conference playoffs. Thanks for joining us for postseason basketball on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter is Ali LaForce. to catch up with our reporter. What do you have for us, Allie? Looking to be the last team standing, Allie. Thank you. Taking a look at the 76ers. What a great chance here for them to bring the series even at home. A great chance indeed. This team is very much alive and they know it. A win here makes it a best of three series. And the starting group for the Celtics. And for the 76ers, we've got Drew Holiday, Andre Iguodala out there with Thaddeus Young. And it's Turner and a shooting guard. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. Pass to Pierce. Here's Garnett. Here's Allen. Outside. Rondo. Just five to shoot. The shot.
Philadelphia will take it the other way. Here's Bates. Pass to Iguodala. Boston with a rebound. The three, Allen. And Spates pulls it down. Now Philadelphia with it. Outside Holiday to the middle. Turner. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. played here so far in the first outside Rondo Master Garnett over Young Boston no good that time either hey sometimes the best looks don't equate to points here's Spates and we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter Here's Young. Oh, what a finish in traffic! My goodness! Well, you can't rattle Young. I mean, when he's focused on scoring, there's little the defense can do to stop him. Rondo gets the bucket. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Pass to Iguodala. Sinks the tray. The versatility of Iguodala's offensive game is expanded. And he's able to knock down shots from long range now. Back to Rondo. Here's Garnett. That one rolls around and rims out. Young, the pass to Holiday. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Boy, they're on fire right now, cooking with gas, starting this one out 4 or 5. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Now here's Allen. Pass to Rondo. He puts up a three. The shot that time not on target. The 76ers have gone four of five so far. Looking sharp from about 19. Rebounded by the Celtics. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Pierce can't get to it. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Turner with it. Picked up by Allen. Outside Holiday. Shoots over Rondo. And the basket by Holiday. Holiday's got his second basket on the night. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. Well, everything's coming too easily. At some point, defensively, you have to take something away. Here's O'Neal. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Will it go? Pass to Garnett. Here's Pierce. From deep three-point range, hits the trifecta. With his three-point shooting ability, Pierce can play either the three or stretch you out from the four spot. And that's part of what makes him so valuable. Now here's Young. That went off the back iron and out. Boy, great effort on defense there against a guy who typically makes that. Here's Garnett. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to go on Thaddeus Young. In many ways, KG has the perfect basketball body, long and wiry. It's difficult to contain a guy like that, which is why defenders resort to fouling him like there. the first really hard not to respect the tremendous impact Garnett has on both ends of the floor he plays with tremendous intensity in all situations and never gives you less than 100 percent effort
hits both from the stripe. He's one of the league's best free throw shooting bigs. A performance like this certainly proves it. Outside Holiday shoots over Rondo. Great D that time from Rondo. Austin trailing. Here's Pierce. Austin, no good that time either. Yeah, just a little off his game this quarter. He's trying to work his way into a rhythm. Here's Spates. Offline with a three. Austin has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Here's Garnett. And he drops it in from the low post. There's that famous KG intensity that he's known for. Powering through to hit the inside and forcing that one down. To the inside. Iguodala shot is good. Iguodala has got five now. Well, the Celtics shooting has not been great early. Just 27%. Here's Pierce. Good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. Crafty move that time by Pierce, working himself around the contact to get his shot off. Pass to Spates. Let's it go from deep. Goes back up. Iguodala. Count it. He's got seven. Iguodala has gone three of four here from the field. And Boston calls time here. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Pass to O'Neal. Outside, Rondo for three, Allen. Rebound by the 76ers. Iguodala's got his fourth rebound in this one. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Well, hey, guys, I mean, can we talk about how unselfish they've been? Just racking up the assist numbers, moving it around with great precision. In addition to that, they've thrown their weight around inside tonight, too, thumping and bumping in the paint. A lot of their points have come from inside. And so he hits both. And so it's Boston with it. They trail by seven. Back to Rondo. To the paint. Oh, deflected. Turner inside. He's against Allen. He lays it up and banks it in. Turner's got five. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Pass to Garnett. And here's Allen. Here's the three. Holiday grabs the miss. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to uh, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. Here's Garnett. Now Allen. He's covered by Holiday, and Allen gets it to go. Nice decision that time from Shaq. Doing a nice job getting his teammates going there. The 76ers have got 8 of 15 shots to go. On the wing, Holiday. Out to the wing. Left side, Young. Clock at four. And Young slams it in. You know, those are the plays where you really see Young's quickness off the floor. He's got a great, quick second jump, which leads to second-chance score. Rondo's shot is off. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Here's Garnett. Pierce. And that one's on target from the wings. He's got seven. And another great time out, time assist. Out. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. 
Now a timeout called by Philadelphia. And a new group getting ready for the Sixers. Pass to Allen. Here's Brand from the arc. No good on the shot. Here's Garnett. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. You know, KG's an insanely long player, and that length allows him to bait defenders into contact and to finish through. Sixers leading. Ball stolen. Now the Celtics on the move. Here's Pierce. Boston again missing. Philadelphia has gone one of four from deep. Pass to Iguodala. And he can't get that one. Nice D from Allen. Back to Rondo. Here's Perkins. Here's Pierce. Seven points in the game. Outside. Rondo. Six to shoot. The three. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Defense dodged the bullet that time. Total breakdown. Here's Williams. No luck on that one. And Boston going the other way now. Pass to Allen. Fires for three. Yes, sir. Great play by Rondo to set him up. Rondo, he's got three assists tonight. And here's Whiteside. Williams with it from behind the arc. And he's missed his first two shots of the game. Now here's Allen. Five points in the game. Here's Garnett. And that misses. That would have put him up. A little hesitant. Maybe he thought the D was tighter on him than it really was. Whiteside finds Williams. Counted from distance. I don't know if anybody has a more relaxed shooting motion. Williams very efficient and easy with that stroke. Pass to Perkins. Counted. One for one to start the game. Philadelphia has gone just two for six from the arc here in the first. Here's Brand. It's hauled in by Garnett. Boston trailing. Outside, Rondo. Fires from the wing. That one doesn't drop. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Can't get anything to go this period. Seems like he's hit a wall. Williams passes to Allen. Up top, Whiteside. Now here's Williams. From outside, off the mark. That's staying connected to the shooter and timing the contest. Pass to Garnett. Here's Pierce. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. Well, the 76ers shooting about 40% in the early stages of this game. Here's Whiteside. Got it. Got his man all tangled up. I mean, serious crossover. And for the Celtics, they're shooting just 36% here in the first quarter. Down low. Here's Garnett. Boston, no good that time either. Now the 76ers with it. They lead by four. Pass to Brand. It's hauled in by Garnett. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Pierce gets the bucket. Well, you know, Rondo's a multi-time league assist leader. If you're open, he's getting you the rock. Here's Iguodala. It's hauled in by Garnett. 
you know, you don't always get that opportunity, so those are the ones you hate to miss. Here's Rondo, and he hits it to tie the game. Rondo, he's got his second basket of the night. Rondo going right through the contact and scoring there. He's a lot tougher than he looks. It's all tied in Philadelphia. Let's take a quick break, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. We welcome you back to Game 4, folks. Thanks for joining us. All right, guys, what's your take on the Sixers so far? You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. On the court right now for the Celtics. Here's Holiday, and no good. And Boston going the other way now. Outside, Rondo. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Rondo, he's got six. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Now here's Turner. Misses the jumper from the wing. O'Neal inside. He's covered by Holiday. You know, I still think um, Rondo is a great role player in the league. He knows he's out there to distribute the ball and provide leadership on the floor, and he does both really well. Knocks down the first one. And so he's able to get one of two. The Sixers trailing. Fires the three. And another miss by Philadelphia. Boston with the ball. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. And we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. And a nice finish on the layup. Rondo, he's got five points in the quarter. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. It's good. Close game here in Philadelphia. Pass to Garnett. Outside, Rondo. The three, Allen. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. The basket counts, and one. He'll go to the line, a chance at a three-point play. And that's what makes Young so dangerous, in my opinion. I mean, his ability to cut in off the bounce and finish through contact, that puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Quarter two in about two minutes in. Outside Davis. to Zerbiak. It's rebounded by AI. For Philadelphia, they've gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. And Young slams it in. And you know what? When it comes to alley-oops, you are better at finishing than Thaddeus Young. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Robinson, he's checked in for Boston.
here in the second quarter of action. Just a hair under two and a half minutes played. Davis finds Allen. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. Allen's got his third basket on the night right there. Holiday passes to Young. Puts it up from 15. They grab their own miss. A nice shot by Spates. Smooth reverse. He knew just what he was doing there. The Celtics have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Inside. And a big finish by Robinson. And the lead just keeps changing hands. Five times already. And we still haven't gotten out of the first half. Outside Young. Pass to Turner. Into the lane. And he banks in the layup. Turner's got seven points. No defensive pressure at all. I mean, that's not going to get it done against him. And Boston calls time here. The Celtics making a switch here. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. Here's Scalabrini. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. The 76ers have gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. To the right side. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. And it's a three-point Philadelphia lead. Pass to Scalabrini. Here's Davis. Out to the right wing. Now Robinson, three-pointer. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Young's got four rebounds now. And here's Holiday. Shoots over Rondo. Boston with a rebound. Well, I don't think he's performing up to his own expectations, but they still find themselves out in front. Pass to Davis. Outside, Rondo. Here's Scalabrini. The three is up. Boston, no good that time either. Now Turner. He's got nine. And he lays it up and in. Turner's got six in the quarter. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. On the wing, Davis. Pass to Rondo. Shot clock at six. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. The Celtics making a switch here. Bradley's checked in. Knocked away. Stolen by Davis. Right side, Rondo. Outside Robinson. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. Philadelphia with the ball. They're on a 15-5 run. And it's going to be on Rajon Rondo. That's his first foul. And Philadelphia has possession. They've led by as much as 10. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. And Boston calls time here. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. <laughs> That'll drive your coach nuts. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. The Celtics making a switch here. O'Neal's checked in. And here's Rondo. Nine points in the game. Outside Robinson. Let's go with a three. Deflected! it in with a nice touch off the window. 
Give him eight. No surprise there. I mean, realizing he has the size advantage, he exploits it perfectly. For Boston, they've gone four of ten from the field in the second. Outside Robinson. Pass to Rondo. Over Holiday. Boston, no good that time either. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end, and let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Outside Robinson. Clock at six. Tipped. Pass to Spates. And the basket is good. And the 76ers lead by 13. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Now here's Robinson. Shot to win the cold streak. Bradley misses. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. Young with the bucket. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Pass to Robinson. Now here's Rondo. He's covered by Holiday. Rondo gets the bucket. You know, he's a bit of a rarity and maybe even a throwback when you look at Rondo and how being a smaller guard, he still is comfortable operating inside. And Philadelphia calls time here. Allen, he's checked in for the Sixers. Williams comes in for Holiday. And it's the Sixers with the ball. It's a 13-point game. Back to Turner. Pass to Spates. Young with it. Goes up at the stripe. Oh, he hits that one. Eight for 11 and remaining a thorn in the D side. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assists. You know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Good decision making. Scopes the situation. Puts the pass right on the mark. Pass to Young. The fadeaway. And it's Perkins with a rebound. Boston has gone just one of six from the perimeter here in the second. Here's O'Neal. Bradley inside. And Spates pulls it down. The 76ers shooting around 50% of the game so far. To the left wing. A good look from Turner. Rebounded by Rondo. Rondo. He's got four rebounds now. Oh, steps back and drains the jumper. Rondo. He's got nine points now in the quarter. Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. Young, got a hand on it. Outside, Rondo, pass to O'Neal. The jump hook, perfect night so far, two for two. Take a look at how Shaq owns the paint. Nobody's getting in his way inside. Here's Spates. He gets it back. Just make sure you keep getting him touches. I mean, you love what he's doing at the offensive end. Don't go away from it. Pass to Bradley. Here's Perkins. Guarded by Young. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. And that's how you defend. He wasn't showing any mercy with that swap. 
Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. Davis, he's checked in for Boston. Oh, they get a hand on it. Rondo with the steal. We've got 113 left in the first half of basketball. Perkins' shot is good. You know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last 10 points have come from inside. Sometimes you just got to man up and take a tough foul in order to stop these free runs to the rim. Pass to Davis. He can't hit that time. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Williams' shot is good. They've really gotten away from the three-point shot as they've pulled out in front. Yeah, you know, sometimes that can be a mistake. But they weren't shooting it especially well early on, so I think it makes sense to shy away from the triple. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. No good that time. Davis with the defensive effort. Boston has gone just one of six from the perimeter here in the second. Outside, Rondo. Two on the clock. And it's good on the layup. Rondo, he's got 11 points in the quarter. Rondo has exquisite handles now. He's got every dribble move in the day. All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break. Ready for the second half. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. The NBA playoffs are happening, and we're happy to have you here for the Halftime Show. Taking a look at the 76ers, trailing two games to one in the series, they've come out with purpose tonight. They know that losing this game would put them in an almost impossible situation. Let's start with you, Shaq. What do you think about the Sixers? They were getting after it on the glass. Like, wow, they're... They got a nice edge. And that's about it. It's just, it's just, they won the heart and hustle battle in that first half. Now we'll see if they can keep that going. And over to Kenny. What did you think about Boston? They couldn't get anything from behind. Them. Obviously, plenty of bad shots. But they couldn't even hit wide open ones. They need to regroup. I'm telling you, regroup with some kind of rhythm and get on pace. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. Hello everyone. Thank you for joining 2K Sports and our coverage of this first round. Without question, Thaddeus Young displaying all his skills today. And if he felt any pressure coming into this game, he sure hasn't shown it. What a sensational start. Yeah, you know, I think he relishes the pressure, especially in a big game like this one. He really eats that stuff up. Great to have you with us again as we return to our coverage of round one. Andre Iguodala out there with Thaddeus Young. Then there's Drew Holiday, and it's Turner in at the two spot. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Spates. That shot is off. And the Celtics going the other way now. Here's Garnett. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. He's got nine. You know, the mid-range day of Garnett is a thing of beauty. Textbook release from the big man. Here's Spates. Iguodala outside. Pass to Turner. Six on the shot clock. Here's Holiday. The rebound by Allen. Boston trailing. Second half getting started. About a minute play. And it's in there. Allen's got ten points. Wow. They're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. It's Iguodala off the drive. Takes the 12-footer and hits it. 
And the 76ers lead by seven. You've got to be mindful of defending Eagle Dollar everywhere because he'll take shots from the mid-range, too. Pass to Garnett. Shoots over Young. Again, the Celtics good for two more. Excellent execution coming out of the break. They've taken three shots and made three shots. Iguodala, the pass to Holiday. Over to the left wing. Here's Turner. And it's Perkins with a rebound. Since halftime, they've missed three of their first four shots. Still trying to get their legs under them. And the basket is good. He got it to go and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up. An opportunity at a three-point play. Whiteside, he's checked in for the Sixers. O'Neal, he's checked in for Boston. Philadelphia, they've gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Yep, that one goes. Six points for him. Not a whole lot the defense can do there. I mean, Holiday just staying within himself, under control, despite the aggressive coverage. Pass to O'Neal. Here's Garnett. Nice work on the boards, paying off with a basket. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. And the 76ers call time here. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Young finds Turner. Right side down low. He's against O'Neal. For Boston, they've got five of six shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to Pierce. For the lead! Absolute bomb from three-point range. And the Celtics lead by one. A hard-fought matchup. Seven lead changes thus far. And these teams have been sparring from the get-go. Neither able to land the knockout blow. Now here's Turner. He's got 11. Over Allen. Turner, no good. The Celtics have gone six of seven and appearing confident in this half. With the triple. Just a nanosecond from touching the ball. Ray Allen ready to fire. The 76ers have gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. Pass to Holiday. Can they get it? Boston with a rebound. You know, defensively, you just can't afford to give him that much room. They're fortunate that he missed that one. Here's Pierce from deep. The rebound by Whiteside. Now Holiday. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. There you see how tough Holiday is. He simply pressed and forced the issue there and got the defense to overcommit. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for Boston? Well, you love their unselfish play. Keeping that ball moving, good shot to great. That's winning basketball. And, you know, the more they penetrated, the more they realized the defense wasn't able to stop them. So they just kept doing it. So he gets them both. You know, in the case of Drew Holiday, having two brothers in the league, I think, probably has added motivation for him to excel. Pass to O'Neal. Here's Pierce. From downtown, fires in the triple. 
15 points in the game. Adjustment time for these guys. The defense has to make some adjustment here. Here's Whiteside. He's off on that one. And Boston going the other way now. Now here's Rondo. Nice shot there. Making him 8 for 13. How about turning the clock back now? Rajan Rondo filling it up like this. That's found money. Here's Young. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. good on the free throw and while young is serviceable at the line not terrible um, there's still a lot of room for improvement and the second free throw is good the Celtics with the lead to O'Neal to the left side wing to the middle and there's a three second violation timeout called the 76ers timeout. Timeout. yeah coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well yeah, and I agree I think there's gonna be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout O'Neal, he's checked in for O'Neal. Outside Holiday, pass to AI. Down low. Here's Whiteside. The shot's good. Whiteside's gotten his second bucket. This is how you force a defense to collapse. Kick the ball right inside. Here's Garnett. Guarded by Young. Here's Pierce. Pass to Garnett. Count it. Good. He's got 18. A tale of two halves. After a slow start, he's turning his offense around. And here is Young. White side with it. Here's Holiday. Clock at six. Late clock. The Sixers need to put one up here. Here's AI. That three off target. Had some space there after the pump fake. Boston's gone three of four from outside in the second half. Rondo with it. Turner covering. For three, Allen. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Turner with it. 11 points in the game. Here's AI. And the three off target. Pass to Rondo. Here's Pierce. Yes, sir. Great play by Rondo to set him up. Rondo. He's got eight assists here tonight. 
Turner. Passes to Whiteside. Now here's Young. It's hauled in by Garnett. I think he'll think twice about attempting that shot next time. The defense was right on top of him there. That one falls. And now an 11-point Celtic lead. And playing very well here in the second half. I mean, their shooting percentage is now over 50% from the field. Yeah, it's not a surprise then to see them out in front the way they've been efficient offensively in this half and actually throughout the entire game. No good. A bit long that time. I don't know if you can credit the defense for that. It was just a missed opportunity. Pass to Rondo. Oh, he pipes it. Nine for 14 and showing no let up. You know, KG has never been a selfish player, especially when he sees another guy who is this ready to shoot. He'll get it to him. Here's AI. Allen defending. Here's AI. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. The Sixers with another miss. Wide, wide open, and still, surprisingly, he wasn't able to cash in. And, yep, it's good. And the Celtics lead by 15. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed, a rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. And that one's good. Young going to take a lot more than that to keep Young from converting that play. Boston has gotten 12 of their points this quarter from deep. Four of six. Here's O'Neal. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to be on Hassan Whiteside. First one at the line is good. He's over seven feet tall and well north of 300 LBs. Shaq is a mountain of a man and as unique a big guy as we've had in the league in its history. But I think what makes him so special, he moves extremely well at that size. And he makes both free throws. Philadelphia has gotten nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Pass to Brand. And here's Allen. Outside, Williams. Takes a three. Drains the triple. Williams has got his third bucket of the night. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Back to Rondo. He tries for three. For three, Allen. Yes, sir. Great play by Rondo to set him up. Allen's got 16 points now. He's hit a pair of threes each half, making a significant impact. Here's AI. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Allen against Allen. Pass to Garnett. Here's Pierce. Shot on the wing. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Here's Spates. He's got 12. Outside, Williams. Another three for Philadelphia. Man, such a quick, easy release for Williams. Sometimes it seems like it surprises the defense. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. And the 76ers making a change here. Iguodala's checked in. The Celtics making a switch here. Well, the Celtics shooting around 53%. A nice number. Pass to Perkins. Here's Pierce. Takes the three. It's tipped. There's 138 left in the third quarter here. Boston on offense. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And it's going to be a three-second call. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. 
Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. Robinson, he's checked in for Boston. Philadelphia has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. The ball's knocked loose, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Williams. Now here's Rondo. 21 points in the game for three. Allen. Iguodala with the rebound. Iguodala's got six rebounds here tonight. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Playing from behind, it's amazing he chose a dunk with that high of difficulty rating. Yeah, no question. That was a stellar move with plenty of swagger. I don't care what the score is there, fellas. That's the play we'll remember from this game, clearly. Davis, he's checked in for Boston. Bradley comes in for Allen. they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half. And that's taking care of business, fellas. Here's Spates. 12 points for him. Launches it. Unable to get that one. And it's Boston the other way. There's 31 seconds left in the third quarter. And the shot goes in. He has six. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Pass to Allen. And here's Iguodala. And it's Perkins with a rebound. Now here's Rondo. Williams defending. With one on the clock. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And so it's Boston liking their chances, ending the quarter with a 15-point lead. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Served him up. Tasty room service dime right there, boy. And thanks for sticking with us as this round one game continues. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. We've got Avery Bradley, and it's Robinson in at the two-guard spot. Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. Allen can't get it to go. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, as they're looking to battle back, that's one of the key elements. you got to rebound. Bradley off target with the three. And it's the Sixers for the ball. Down by 15. Brand misses from short range. Here's Bradley. And that one good. Bradley's got his first bucket of the night. Even with the score as it is, he just keeps coming at you. Well, he only plays one way, and that's um, full throttle all day, all the time. Cold blooded and leap. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is. That's a tough shot. Now here's Rondo. Here's Perkins. Boom! He jams it straight down. He knew exactly where his man was going to be. Outstanding lead pass. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. 
That one goes. Count it. This first half performance, somewhat forgettable. But now he's pouring it on. Boston has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Rondo. He's covered by Holiday. Rondo gets the bucket. Rondo, he's got 26 points. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. Out of bounds. It'll be Celtics ball. It's one thing to get outplayed, but when you're giving away possessions like this, it makes it even more tough. Turner, he's checked in for Allen. The Celtics have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Now here's Rondo. He's covered by Holiday. Rondo gets the bucket. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. Iguodala outside. Young with it. And Davis picks him up defensively. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Pass to Brand. Iguodala with the ball. Five on the clock. It's hauled in by Robinson. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. The 76ers have gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Here's Holiday. And so it looks like it'll be Philadelphia ball. And so here is Philadelphia, 19-point game. Here's Iguodala. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. The Celtics have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Pass to Perkins. Now Robinson. Shoots over Turner. Robinson gets the bucket. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. And so it looks like it'll be Philadelphia ball. Boston on D. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin of the game. Pass to Turner. There's the triple. Sinks it from distance. Boy, that is some kind of heads-up basketball from Holiday. He does not sleep on the wide-open man and found him perfect. Here's Pierce. Iguodala defending. 19-footer. Holiday grabs the miss. Holiday's got four rebounds in the game. Here's Turner. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. Turner's got five points in the quarter. Pass to Davis. Shoots over Young. Here's Rondo. It's deflected. Defense. That is his signature card. Drew Holiday, an elite stopper on the perimeter. And the shot's good. An elite score, demonstrating once again how fast he can fill it up. And here's Turner. Robinson defending. And it's Turner that time on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got his seventh assist here tonight. Pass to Robinson. Puts up a three. That shot off the mark. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Here's Brand. Robinson with a steal. Young against Davis. The shot off that time. Ooh, excellent D there from Young. The 76ers have gone 6 for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Turner for three. And the 76ers another three. And, you know, this is Drew Holiday's role. He's out there to run the offense and get his guys going. 
outside. Rondo. On the wing, Davis. For three, Robinson buries it from three. He can be dangerous from outside. Sure, he didn't get one to go in the first, but we know he can get on the roll and knock him down. Here's Brand. Back to Turner. He's got another one. That's 10 for 15 now. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. Pass to Pierce. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows or they'll call it. Now here's Holiday to the paint. Turner passes to Holiday. Basket counts. Holiday's got 10 points in just the second half. So many different ways that Holiday can beat you because he's got great length and size for a guard, and that allows him not to be afraid to mix it up inside. Here's Garnett. Right side, Rondo. Shot clock at six. Here's Pierce. He stays with it and hits the off-balance shot. He's got 24. And Pierce knows how to get to his spots. And when he gets there, he knows how to convert. Here's Holiday. And here's another one for the Sixers. Boy, he's having a great half here. Exactly the opposite of the first. Pass to Allen. Here's Garnett. Here's Pierce. Iguodala defending. Here's Pierce. Out left to the wing. Here's Rondo. And Spates pulls it down. Clearly the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. Here's Iguodala. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. With a strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with Alan Grant. Oh, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hand. Allen can't get it to go. Philadelphia's gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. It's intercepted. Here we go. Ball's going up the court. Flushes it down to finish the break. Oh, Pierce rising and throwing it down. Not known for his vertical, but he's got a little more bounce than we thought. Here's Pates. Rebounded by Rondo. Rondo, he's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Pass to Garnett. Over Holiday. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. And now a 12-point Celtic lead. And, you know, this is Rondo's role. He's out there to run the offense and give his teammates room service down. Here's Holiday. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Holiday's got 14 points now in the second half. Here's Perkins. Pass to Garnett. Oh, stolen by Turner. Here we go. The Sixers on the break. Here's Young. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Just one moment where Young catches you the wrong way, and he'll find his way to the free throw line. one misses and the Celtics making a change here O'Neal's checked in no good on the second free throw Boston has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter Here's the teardrop. Rondo's shot is off. Well, the 76ers shooting the rock well at 46%. Here's Iguodala. Oh, he got it with a pump fake, but he couldn't finish. The Celtics shooting pretty well in the fourth at 48%. Here's Pierce. He's covered by Holiday. Pierce can't get to it. Philadelphia's gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. 
It's Iguodala on the wing. Shoots over Allen. The Sixers again can't hit. And the Celtics shooting 51%. Good clip from the field. Here's Garnett. Some solid defense from Holiday. The 76ers shooting 60% here in the fourth quarter. Terrific efficiency. Iguodala outside. Turner inside. Checked by Rondo. Nice shot by Turner. Turner's got 14 points now in the second half. He'll find you if you're open now. Iguodala does a nice job with the assist. Outside, Rondo. Some solid defense from Holiday. The Sixers trailing to the inside. Young. And Young slams it in. I tell you, that is Young flowing and glowing. Making it happen. Do it, young fella. Get busy. Rondo gets the bucket. Well, this man knows how to handle that rock. Looks like it's part of his body. Now Iguodala. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Now here's Rondo. Not a lot of room. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Smith, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Allen comes in for Turner. The 76ers running out of time. Here's Iguodala. And the sweet roll that time on the rim. That one falls. No fear from Iggy. Andre Iguodala coming through in the clutch. 11 feet away. Rondo shot is off. Now Philadelphia with it. It all comes down to this possession. They must get points. It really does come down to this. I mean, come up empty and it's over. I tell you, boy, he comes up big at the right time. I love his demeanor, though. His disposition says all business and I'm ready for whatever is needed. That's what a proven winner will do for you. Big bucket from Rondo. And Philadelphia calls time here. They're losing by five. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game. We saw outstanding focus and really good energy from him all the minutes he was on the floor. He was determined to make an impact every time he touched the ball, and he did just that. The guys on both squads could learn a lot from what he did here tonight. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Doc Rivers' huddle. He got his squad fired up, saying, quote, now it's our time. If we want to take over this game, here is the moment. His guys look ready to deliver. We'll see. Great work, Allie. Thanks. seconds left in the fourth quarter left side young yes what a beautiful shot brings him within three and he is young earning his money there the game getting tight and close big moment he makes a big play getting a little desperate at this stage I mean the clock's the big factor that's a good foul though I like that I mean clock management crucial at this time of the game and so they choose to intentionally foul. And no good as the first free throw misses. We'll see if he can hit the second. And no luck that time either. Ouch! Boy, was that painful. That was basically just a choke job, I hate to say it. Could have put this game on ice, but he didn't. And it's Spates missing. And they're going to prolong the game with an intentional foul. First 
one drops. And that gives him a four-point cushion. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a five-point game. I think it's a wrap. When the game's on the line, he knows how to deliver the crushing blow. Here's Iguodala. No good there. So we see the Celtics get the win here. And with this win, they'll jump out to a 3-1 lead in the series. A commanding start. And they can't afford to take their foot off the gas pedal. The job isn't done yet, but it's close to being all she wrote. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Grant Hill, Clark Kellogg, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. So long, everybody.